Hey everyone, welcome to Love to Create by Tanya. Today I'm going to be working on a rustic farmhouse spring DIY. In this design, we're going to be making a birdhouse wall art. The first thing I'm going to do is take six of those palettes from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to use my truffle paint and water it down to make a light stain. After I get all my boards stained, I do like to wipe them down with that baby wipe and just remove any of the excess that's on there. And then I always take my heat gun or you can take your hair dryer and just dry them really well. If you don't dry them really well, it seems like the glue doesn't want to hold. But I'm just going to glue mine together with that Gorilla Hot Glue and then I do put a couple of the craft sticks on the back in a few of the little areas just for that extra support. But I love those little bird houses that they get in that are unfinished at Dollar Tree and that's what I'm going to be putting on this design and I think they're just the perfect size and you can also pick up some of the little birds well, I think they have a few at Dollar Tree, and I like to get mine at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and I actually decided for this design to make some out of these little wood pieces that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, and they had different shapes in there. Some of them were oval, and some looked like a little teardrop, but I was able to put enough of the little shapes together to form three little birds and it turned out really cute I like how it turned out and you'll have to let me know what you think of this design in the comments below I thought about painting it white with maybe some green birdhouses I think that would be another pretty combo and you could do it even in the pinks the yellows but I wanted to go for the rustic farmhouse on this one and I just think it was a really neat design Now here's those little wood pieces I was telling you about and I did pick these up at Hobby Lobby and I am going to stain these this time because I'm going to be painting my birdhouses white and I do brush on just a few of the white little accents and then I did go back after filming this and add some black paint to each one of the little beaks and I actually added the eye. I don't know why I forgot the eye <laughs> but I did add the eye later on. But here are those birdhouses that I had purchased from Dollar Tree and I love that they get these out every year and there's just so many fun designs and I'm probably going to do a couple more DIYs with these birdhouses because I've got some really neat ones in mind. Well everyone, I wanted to mention this. I would love for you to follow me on Instagram. I've been doing a lot of posts where you can see what the upcoming videos are going to be. And you can find a link to that in the description below or in the About Me section.
Now I decided to take just a couple of those little wood cubes that you can purchase from Dollar Tree and I actually glued them right underneath the bottom of the birdhouses. I just did that for some extra support. After I got them glued on, I probably didn't need the little cube, but it didn't bother me the way it looked on there, so I just decided to go ahead and leave it. Now I'm just going to kind of stagger my birdhouses. And the reason why I decided to stagger mine is because I wanted to add a few more little accent pieces across that top corner there and then maybe down at the bottom. But with the birds that we're going to be making from the wood slices, we're actually going to be attaching those to the birdhouses. And I really like what I did with this. And you'll have to tell me what you think when you see it. And I ended up using just one of the little uh, tumbler blocks and I glued that to the back of these little wood birds and it made them set perfectly on the birdhouses and I'm definitely going to be using that design again. And you can see how I just set that little birdhouse on that cube there and it worked out perfect and like I said the cube didn't bother me so I, I just left it but I think they would have probably stayed on just fine without it. Now here's our little wood pieces and we're going to start building our birds. And this was a really fun, simple little way to do these wood birds. I had never put them together quite like this, but I definitely am going to be doing that again. And you can see where I just took that little tumbler block and glued right to the back and it just makes the perfect little piece of wood to glue right onto the top of the birdhouse. And then we're just going to be using one of the little circles for the head of the bird. And then I'm just going to take a little larger teardrop and add a wing. And then I take the smaller teardrop and just cut off that little pointed edge and it makes the perfect beak. And you can see how cute they turned out. Now we're going to go ahead and just glue them to the top of our birdhouse rooftop. I found this Easter grass when I was in Hobby Lobby the other day and I realized that all the little sections pulled apart and I thought that was perfect to get a lot of different designs and I decided just to pop some of that right into the hole of the birdhouses and then I'm going to take some of these little twigs and pop in there just to add a little bit of the greenery and the natural look to it.
I found this home sweet home sign the other day at Dollar Tree and I thought this would be perfect to take this off and just put it up there in the corner of this piece of wall art and then I'm also going to add the word spring down at the bottom. Now I decided to add one of those little chalkboard heart tags right there under that home sweet home. And then I'm just gonna use my little sticker letters that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I do a little outlining on them with some black and white chalk paint. Now next I'm gonna take some of those rub on transfers that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I'm going to put those on the birdhouses and then I kind of put a few on the palette boards just staggered throughout just to add a little bit of that pop of black on there because I really liked how this was turning out with that black and white theme and I love that anyway and I use that a lot in my home. And I think those little rub-on transfers just made those birdhouses stand out. Well, everyone, you have to let me know in the comments below what you're thinking of this design and if this is one that you may like to give a try. Most of the items came from Dollar Tree. The only thing that I didn't get there was the little wood pieces that I made the birds out of. But I had saw on somebody else's haul that they actually are carrying the wood pieces now so I'm sure that you could come up with something to make these little birds out of. everyone we're about done with this DIY for today and here's the finished product and I hope that you have enjoyed this one if so I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up for this video that really does help YouTube notice my channel a little bit more and don't forget if you've not already subscribed to my channel when you do subscribe hit the bell and if you select all you'll be notified every time I upload a new video
Well, everyone, lots of hugs and love, and I will see you the next time.